Take your game to the next level with our Ultimate Tournament X Guide for the Summer Major Tournament or any other tournament for that matter in Golf Clash. We are in the middle of the Summer Major Tournament whilst this video is being recorded and we are up for a top one with the Oasis 2 as a course. Oasis is one of the courses that has the most bumps on the fairway which means that it's going to be the hardest one as well to be very not very but to be consistent at with your drive distance with your second shots etc that's why we are not gonna see minus 42s minus 43 to win this tournament so we all need to settle in for that and just see for what it is okay can i get a few drops i will most definitely be in contention having a good position at the end of the tournament and obviously drops do not come for free and the harder the tournament is the harder it's going to get to just get those drops uh, just by all by feel what we provide on our platform patreon.com slash gold clash tommy is a way for you to be competitive without having to spend loads of hours in practice mode wasting practice tokens and balls obviously practice mode is a helpful tool but it's even more helpful when you have something uh, really solid to follow that you can just practice the finer details to get yourself just a couple of percentage uh, better chance for um drop the ultimate tournament guides uh, they can be found on patreon.com slash called clash tommy via the link that is in the description down below you can also scan the qr code here on the screen and you will in this video as well see some examples when it comes to master division and also expert division and you will see for yourself how we build our guides and it's one thing to just give you a guide for us on our platform and in our community we are doing our very best to improve the general knowledge of the players that join us that's why you are not just getting the text guides you are getting from us uh, videos with voiceover on every video you can uh, find that in our telegram uh, and google drive and also attached on the specific text guides as well we also have the telegram chats which is a perfect place where you can then ask questions about the shop that didn't really go as you wanted you can upload your own creations you can discuss and talk to fellow members yeah, you know, breaking down other type of shots or just confirming a shot. Okay, you're saying that, I mean, this one went really well. So the Telegram shots is definitely a recommendation to join when you do sign up for our service. It's not a must, but it's a recommendation that is for sure. So we want to be there every step of the way. We don't want you to feel that you're just getting a guide and then every time you make a miss, then that's on you. Because this game, how this game works is that there will never be anyone that drops every single shot. That's never going to happen. So we can squash that right away. But uh, we need to understand, and what is important to understand, is that with our personal play differences, not that uh, any of us are doing wrong, but we're doing something different. And when it comes to doing something different, then we need to have an answer for that. And that could be those very minor things such as pull a little bit more 11.59, pull a little bit more 12.01, etc. And those are the things that we want to work with uh, with you as a player to make sure that you, with your personal play differences, can still be um, competitive uh, when you are playing the tournament. So joining our service is much, much more than just getting a guide. Scan the QR code here on the screen or use the link patreon.com slash clash. Tommy, you can find uh, find guides, premium guides for tournament play, tour play, and also for checkpoint and challenge. Now, let's have a look at some examples for master and then also for expert division. In master division, we are catering to apocalypse level five plus as a driver, or if we do not feel that the apocalypse level five have enough top spin for the particular shot, we do add on information for extra mile level nine. So you don't have to have max clubs to uh, follow our shots and again you can play free to play balls and pay balls as well in master we have the color coding as purple which is the same as you do have in the uh, in the game just to easily know that you're actually playing the right division because there are people that have both expert and master and it's actually sometimes scary how many players that actually are mista mistakenly going in playing expert or playing master if they're uh, when they are playing actually the other division but that's a whole other story we're gonna have a look at the part three then we're gonna have a look at something 
that is a little bit special for our master guide. We have actually two types of guides that you get access to with our master package. One is called uh, just master and the other one is called master maxed club guide. And the difference between that is that the max club guide is giving you purely information for max clubs. And we know that regardless what level of player you are in this game, many of the players playing master do play with max clubs. But we still wanted to obviously cater to the more lower clubs as well to give every player a way of attacking the pin with the same type of shot. So what we have done is that we have separated the two. So in the regular guide, we are giving all the information for all the clubs that we're catering to. And then in the max club guide, we are then reducing the information, removing everything that has to everything to do with clubs below the max club level. I'm going to give you a, a perfect example of that uh, once we're taking a look at um, P4 slash P5 slide. Well, here at P4 3, we have the main text, obviously. We do have the aim picture. And we are always trying to put an aim picture that gives you the clearest possible view of what we are looking for. Then we do have the wind angle picture as well. And you can see that we're working with zones when it comes to the wind angle zones. And the reason we work with zones is that it cover in, cover in a slightly bigger margin than when we had the arrows in the past. It was way more of a guesswork when it comes to the arrows. Now we do have the zones, which we're very happy with. The wind angle tweaks on top of the picture to help you in that case, navigate on what type of tweak you shall in that case do. VPR table on the right hand side and the VPR table is obviously important in terms of it allows you to not have to use an application to get yourself the number or it obviously helps you not having to guess something. We have the caddy tip, which is an important part to actually read through on every hole because it gives you like kind of the key points for the shot. Like in this case, to start with the beginner driver and any side spin three bolts set the three right spin. Why are we doing that? It's because we do then allow ourselves to remove the need of uh, not any uh, removing the risk of getting any accidental top spin or back spin when you're setting the three right spin that brings consistency and that's what we're looking for the short structure on part threes is important to have a look at as well and uh, because it gives you step by step exactly how we are playing the shot now you don't have to follow that but there is often an, an id behind that especially when we're doing um ball swaps or club swaps and stuff like that do you have to follow the wind angle tweaks on the slide it will help you if you're doing it correctly absolutely and will it, it will in general bring more drops to your scorecard but if you feel that that's too complicated for you you don't have to follow that no one is forced to follow anything on the slide but because a guide is just a guide we want you to use the portion of the slide that gives you the best um, that gives you the information that you're looking for. And if that's with or without wind angle tweaks, if that's with or without VPR table or whatever, then that's definitely uh, something for you to um, just have in mind, really. Uh, so we are going to have a little look at a part four and a part five slide. We start with this one, and here you can see Apocalypse Level 6 Plus on this chart. We do have the information, we have a push up table because we are using max top spin, we then have to push up for Apoc 7, Apoc 8, Apoc 6 to compensate for that. Otherwise, the same type of structure here, we do have uh, the, um, with the top row, obviously all good information. As you can see there on the left-hand side, we do have the drive information, we do have the uh, right-hand side, we have the second shot information. And when it comes to master division, uh, with any type of rare club or any type of common club, so the... Um, those type of clubs, we're always having a specific type of EPR table. And you can see that on the table is that it gives you the plus yardage base, uh, and then you do have the rings based of the wind on the right. And we're doing that to allow yourself to not have to use an application once again. So you don't have to leave the guide to just jump into Clash Caddy or Notebook or any other application to get yourself the number, which is so extremely helpful and um, and something that you are saving yourself a lot of time by using. But that's because we're only catering to the max levels of those clubs when it comes to common and rare clubs. If using Cataclysm, for an example, we're going to have the similar type of VPR, uh, similar type of table 
as we do have in expert division, for example. Now, pay attention to the drive, uh, drive side, and you can see all the information there for Apocalypse level six and seven and, and the extra with yada, yada, yada. Now, look at that, how much that actually changes when we are doing a max club guide instead. You can see that we are removing the push up information completely. There are other things that's getting removed and it becomes much more room on the page. This is a particular way of having a max club guide page instead of a max, instead of a regular guide page. But again, this is obviously only applicable for those that do have max clubs. But that's the difference that you are getting with a max club guide that is removing some part of information that is just not necessary for you in max clubs. And then it becomes so much more air on the page and so much easier to them to follow. Now, our master division guides uh, are well known, well uh, appreciated by the majority of the community. We understand that we can't cater to everyone, but we are the only ones focusing on catering to uh, new players in Master and uh, those that are already fighting at the very top, and obviously those that are, are somewhat in between there as well. So if you want to, to uh, do like many thousands of players has already done for this season, season then you do go on patreon.com slash gold clash tommy via the link that is in the description down below sign up try for yourself for 30 days and see if the guides are something for you we go into expert and having a look at a part three, a part three slide to a start but before that in expert we're catering to apocalypse level four plus as our main driver which means that you don't have to have a big boy driver big boy balls to be able to follow the creations that we're doing and when it comes to the balls that we're using we free to place and the paid ball shots is that you can be found and here you can see option two other two from paul which is a free to play ball slide and then we do have on a paid ball slide as well to um give you but i wanted to focus on this one in particular because it shows everything that we really want to show when it comes to expert it's uh, we obviously have tiers in expert and in tier one and tier two you know just getting a couple of drops can be the difference between you know a top 10 to actually a medal where in tier three you generally need to get a couple of more drops to get up there but regardless what type of player you are you will see value with our content here top row same as uh, master for those that watch that but you have all the information there in terms of ball information caddy tip to give you uh, the good information in terms of ball swaps um other type of very well-known stuff let's say that a great would be danger and we're adding that type of content up there as well main text uh, on the slide together with as big pictures as possible we have the wind angle picture as well for those that want to use that and i'm saying those that want to use that you don't have to use that it's good stuff to to try to use and do your best with but again a guide is a guide you decide for yourself what on the page you want to follow spin pictures on the left but otherwise just in general a uh, nice easy going uh, part three slide that gives you all the information that you're looking for in expert and especially for those of you that have been watching and uh, the slides for master can see that we are working on with a different type of table on the bottom right and the reason for that is that we are not just catering to the max clubs on the commons and the rares so here we are always having these type of tables, which um, makes you need some sort of application to follow. We have Clash Caddy, Notebook, Winchum, um, or any other that I can't really think about, uh, think of at the moment. But we do have the left hand side, we have the drive information. Uh, on the right hand side, we have second shot information. So all that you need to be able to fight for that drop. If we do deem it necessary to have wind angle tweaks on the approach, we add that uh, there too. And then we do have the top row just as normal. My Our intention with the type of format that we're working with is that for those of those players that are playing master and then feel that they want to go down into expert or those players that play expert and feel that they want to go up to master should feel a similarity between the two uh, divisions and being able to just transist over to a different division and feel like that the only thing that has changed is the color coding and maybe the shot creations, obviously, as we're playing from the second T in Expert. But 
here we don't have a max cloud guiding expert it's just not uh, enough interest uh, for that as um, as there is in master so if you do want to be part of a community with thousands of players being held every season regardless if it's tournament tour play or checkpoint challenge then sign up on patreon.com slash gold clash tommy sign up for 30 days which is the starting period and see for yourself how it may or may not improve your game and then make a decision if you want to continue after that we are sure but obviously totally understandable if you have never tried out our stuff that you want to try before you commit for maybe a longer period so there we do have it in expert thank you everybody for watching this video and hopefully after uh, looking at some examples also listening to my way of explaining and that you can see for yourself that getting a guide from us is definitely going to help you improve as a player in this game doesn't have to be tournament doesn't have to be tour play doesn't have to be checkpoint challenge it can just be one of them or a combination we do have package for uh, for every single player type so make sure to join us try for yourself for 30 days and then you will see um if that is something for you scan the qr code on the screen or go directly to patreon.com slash gold clash tommy via the link in the description down below that will take you to our um, site where you find all the packages and then you can select for yourself you can always get in contact with me on social media uh, by reaching out directly on messenger or or on telegram and you can also uh, get in contact with with our support at support at golf slash tommy.com thank you once again and we wish you the best of luck um, in your golf clash game